This is a table shown in my book, SketchUp Guide for Woodworkers, and it's in Chapter 9. Chapter 9 is titled, How to Develop, How to Start and Develop a Piece of Furniture, and in the book I describe the and show the steps of developing this this model of a chamfered post table. But there are no videos in the book and so I will create a series of videos. I'm not sure how many it will take to go through the full process. There's quite a bit of detail showing the basic structure, the joinery, and then the drawer construction, and the top with breadboards is pretty complex all by itself. So it, it may take a, several videos to go through the, the process. This is a chamfered post table. It's dated about 1700s, and I found this design in a Wallace Nutting book years ago and made several of them and also taught the building of this at school. So to start on this video I'll go th I'll go through making the basic structure with the legs and the stretchers and the aprons or the side and back without joinery just to get the basic uh, form of the structure put together and I'll start a new drawing and I'll I want to start making the the leg component and that I'll just make a little rectangle down here which is one and one quarter by one and one quarter inch. Now that's pretty small so we can click on zoom extents to bring that up to a decent size that we can work with. So the posts or the legs are rectangular in cross section but I want to make this a component and I will call this uh, make component, I'll call this leg. Later on we'll have to distinguish between the front and the back legs, but in the beginning here they'll all be the same until we get to joinery, then, then I'll have to uh, be precise about which ones are which. Uh, so I want to edit this component and bring it up to length and the length is 26 and a half inches 26 and one half okay one leg I like to move away from the origin a little bit, so I'll just shift it on the red and then shift it on the green a little bit and then bring it up on the blue a little bit. Now the other leg is some distance away here, 19 and an eighth. 19 and 1 8 away from the outside outside to outside dimension so I can copy this leg and not not use that corner I should use this corner control move over here copy that now I need to flip that along the red axis. It does, the flipping doesn't 
matter too much now, but it will when we start to do joinery. Now the rear legs are some distance away outside to outside and that's 15 and 3 eighths so I'll place a guideline on the green axis 15 3 eighths away and bring that oh, I'll copy both both of these select both and copy back on the green axis snap onto the guideline and flip these along the green direction so we've got our boundary of the legs set next to do some stretchers the lower stretcher here is four and nine sixteenths four and nine sixteenths up from the bottom edge and it is also one and three eighths one three eighths wide so I can pick the rectangle tool click on that corner click on this corner front face of that lower stretcher and double click make component lower front stretcher and edit the component give it a thickness three quarters inch thickness close the component and delete the guidelines now the the side stretcher is located at the same height above above the floor and put a guideline there and again we got we have a one and same width same width one and one and uh, three eighths one and three eighths and rectangle tool and delete these guidelines double click make component and call this the side stretcher edit the component and give that a three-quarter thickness okay we can copy this side stretcher over to the other side so I'll oops I want to copy that bring it on the red axis hit the red arrow key so I stay on the red axis and click there and flip this up along the red. The back stretcher is the same as the front stretcher and I'll copy this 
back to the back on the green axis hit the left arrow key to stay on stay on the green axis so the lower stretchers are done without joinery and we can start on the upper side component for example and that side component has a width of five and five eighths so rectangle tool got a face double click make component side delete guideline edit component thickness three quarter close and copy this Copy this back to on the red axis, flush with the other side, and flip, flip along red. There's a upper front stretcher that will hold the drawer, and we can just it's the same size as, as this one. So, copy this up on the blue. I'll hit the upper arrow key to stay on the blue axis, and it goes up to that same level as the side. Now we need a back component, and the back component is also at the same depth so rectangle tool and we've got our back component notice that I'm not making these components out in empty space. I'm making them within the context of the leg positions so we don't have to measure as much and it makes the modeling much more accurate and quicker to do when you do it in the context of the whole assembly. Delete the guideline. Oh, I need to make this a component. This is the back. Make component back. Edit component and give that a thickness of three quarter. Oh, there's actually this back is not flush with the top of the legs and it's down three quarters of an inch three quarters okay so we've got the basic structure done the legs don't have chamfers yet so the next stage will go through the how to do the chamfers and then the joinery